In the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at ways of editing clips down into the timeline to create an initial sequence of clips. Possibly the simplest way of editing clips to the timeline, drag and drop editing. It involves, first of all, opening a master clip up in the source monitor by double clicking on it. Then scrubbing or playing through the clip to find a relevant in and out point. Marking the start of the clip by setting an in point by hitting I on the keyboard and then playing through to the out point of the clip and setting an out point in the clip by hitting O on the keyboard. Then clicking in the source monitor itself, holding your mouse down and dragging the clip down onto the timeline. Let me just add a few more clips in the same manner. As you can see on the timeline, I've now added three clips to the timeline. First of all, just to make the clips a little bit easier to see, I'm going to expand the top of my video one track by dragging the divider up between the video one and the video two track. And I'm also going to expand my audio one track by dragging the divider between the audio one and the audio two track down. That allows me to see both a thumbnail for the clips and also audio waveform. I'm also going to zoom in on the timeline using the keyboard shortcut, which is plus on my keyboard, plus to zoom in, minus to zoom out. And that allows me to see the clips in more detail. Now, it's not always the case that every time you edit a clip down onto the timeline, you'll want to edit the clip after the previous clip you've edited. Sometimes you'll want to take a clip and stick it in between two existing clips on the timeline, or even perhaps put a new clip in at the start of the timeline. Now to do this, you would obviously want to make room for the new clip that you're editing to the timeline by moving any existing clips further up the timeline. Now I could do this manually by literally selecting the clips, moving them, setting my new in and out point in the next clip and dragging it down into the gap that I've created and then picking the clips up again and moving them back along. However, this is quite slow and cumbersome, so I'm just going to undo all of that. And we're going to look at an alternative method. In Adobe Premiere, there's two main types of edit and they're known as overwrite and insert edit. By default, when you drag a clip down onto the timeline, it will do an overwrite edit. That means that when the clip is dragged to the timeline, it writes over any footage that is currently there at the insertion point of the clip. So let me show you. If I click in the source monitor here, drag the new clip down and place it between the first and second clips on the timeline and let go. Instead of moving the two existing clips further up the timeline to make room for the new clip, it's literally just written over the first part of the second clip. Let me just undo that. Now an insert edit allows you to insert the clip on the timeline and any clips that are already on the timeline will get pushed up the timeline to make room for the new clip. So this time, as you can see, the second and third clips got pushed up the timeline, making room for the new clip that I was inserting between clips one and two. And how I achieved that was by holding down a key. And the key that you hold down is the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC. Let me just show you again. So I hold command down, I click in the source monitor, I drag the clip to the timeline. The indication that it's gonna do an insert edit is the arrowed line at the start of the clip. And it's that line that you need to place where you want the clip to be inserted. So if I just let that snap to the edit between clips one and two, and then let go with my mouse first, and then the command key. That's also really important, otherwise it goes back to doing an overwrite edit. Just a couple of additional things to mention about this. First of all, as a clip is dragged to the timeline, whether it's with an insert or an overwrite edit, you will see in the program monitor a two up display. This is showing you at the current insertion point of the clip what will end up before and after the clip. The second thing to mention is that if you're doing an insert edit and you drop the clip into the middle of an existing clip, it will actually split that clip in two, push the second half of the clip up and any clips that came after it on the timeline. Where you need to be careful with this is to make sure that if you want to insert a clip between two existing clips, that you actually snap the clip to the edit point between those two clips. If you're just a frame out, you will end up splitting the clip that's already there and leaving a frame of that clip before the clip you're inserting and pushing the rest of the clip 
up after it. Now if I move my clip along here and I'm lining up with what looks like the start of the clip but when I let go if I zoom in can you see that it's left I framed the clip that I dragged the new clip over behind which would create in the edit a flash frame. Another thing to mention about insert edits is when you insert a clip on one track it doesn't just try and move the clips on that track. It doesn't in fact matter what track you're inserting something onto. It doesn't matter whether you're inserting just video or a graphic or just audio. It will move everything on every track that comes after the insertion point of the new clip. So if I take a clip for example here and hold command down again do an insert edit this time put the new clip on video track 3 and audio track 3 when I let go as you'll see it still moved the clips on track 1. 